Now back to our power control problem. We said power control is competition, and competition can be modeled as a game. So what kind of game are we talking about here? Well, let's identify the set of players first. Well, that's the logical link or the transceiver pair, and there are n of them. Let's identify the strategy space here. It becomes a little more complicated. In the two examples we just saw, the strategy space is pretty simple. It's just two choices. But here is a continuum of the power levels for each user i, such that the target SIR gamma is achieved. Now, as you can see, the strategy space said so defined is a set of p's that's determined in part by what the other users' p's might be, because that would determine how easy or hard is it for you to achieve the target SIR. So it's through the coupling of strategy space instead of the coupling of payoff function that we see the interference phenomena reflected in the power control game here. Because the payoff function is very simple, you basically want to look at uh, a cost function that is pi. You want to make this small. So that is the definition of the game. And here are two simple but important facts. Fact number one you can easily verify for yourself is that the DPC algorithm, what is the algorithm again? It says that the transmit power for each transmitter i at time t plus 1 is the current transmit power times the ratio between the target SIR and the current SIR at time t. And this goes on for all the users. This actually is the best response strategy in response to all the other players' strategies. Whatever they might be, they are reflected through the SIR value. And by changing my power level this way, changing my strategy this way to the next time slot, I'm basically executing the best response strategy. The second thing you can check is a monotonicity of the strategy space. What do I mean by that? By that I mean that if all the other users make their powers pj, J not equal to me, I'm user i, smaller, okay, make these smaller. Then my strategy space, the set of p's such that the gammas can be achieved, will be bigger. Now this is obvious once I state it, right? Because if you reduce your transmit power, I have less interference, so I have more choices of p, smaller values of p that can still give me my target gamma. And this is what I mean by monotonicity of the strategy space. It turns out that there's a special name for this kind of game, and subject to some technical condition that holds in this case, we say that best response strategies, iterations of best responses, will converge to an equilibrium, to a Nash equilibrium provided the strategy spaces for all the users are monotonic in the sense that we just described. So we won't have time to go through the proof of that, but this is one way in addition to the optimization uh, method that we'll go through in the advanced material part of the lecture to prove convergence of distributed power control algorithm.